let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame awesome oscillator in the TradingView Pine script. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name multi time frame awesome oscillator. First, we take the user input for the higher time frame. The default value is set to the daily time frame. Here we calculate the awesome oscillator using the difference between two simple moving averages. The first moving average has a length of 5, and it uses the average of high and low as its source. The second moving average has a length of 34, and it uses the average of high and low as its source. Then we find the higher time frame awesome oscillator. To do that, we call the request.security function. The first argument of this function is the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the current time frame awesome oscillator. The bracket 1 written in front of it avoids the indicator repainting issue. The fourth and the fifth arguments handle the gaps and the bar merge. Then we find if the awesome oscillator value is higher or lower than its previous value. Then we calculate the color of the oscillator. If the oscillator is rising, we color it green, otherwise, we color it red. And finally, we plot the awesome oscillator. The plot style is set to the style of the columns. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see the awesome oscillator has been added to the chart. Right now we are on the 4 hours chart, but we are seeing the daily time frame awesome oscillator. You can change the time frame from this list in the settings panel if you want. When the oscillator is rising, its color is green. And when it falls, its color is red. So that's it. That's how you can implement the multi-time frame awesome oscillator in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.